Hi guys, today we're going to talk about my experience auditioning for the University of Miami Frost Gold Music. So, okay, when I first came to University of Miami to audition, um, I have to say compared to other programs, they didn't really seem as organized on the audition day. I remember I showed up like, I don't know, probably an hour early and mine was one of the first auditions and I think the hall wasn't even open yet. There was like a note on the door or something like that, but basically no activity or sign of life. Um, so then I just went back to the practice rooms, which they had really nice practice rooms available and I just practiced some more. And then I came back and then they were open by that time. I saw people kind of scrambling around or whatever. Went in, gave the girl my name, um, just sat down and waited, talked to some people, and then they call me in for the audition and I give, um, the, the student that called me in, I gave her all of my folder. And for this audition, and I auditioned in 2020, right before the pandemic hit, we needed like a repertoire list, um, a list of songs we were offering for that day as well, and then our resume and headshot. So, and I think like five copies of each or something like that for all the teachers to see. So I gave her all my stuff and she goes in and delivers it to everybody and then comes back out and says they're ready to go. So I come in, introduce myself and um, sing my first piece. So I sing my first piece. They pick the second, which is pretty standard during auditions. Everyone I had heard audition before me auditioned with two pieces. They did end up asking me for a third, which I was a little bit surprised about, but that was totally fine. Um, then after that, I guess what was a little bit different about this audition compared to other auditions I'd had before, was that they did a Q&A section, which I did not feel prepared for. I mean, of course, when they're asking you questions, that's no big deal. You should know how to answer questions about yourself. But when they said, oh, do you have any questions for us? I was like, oh my gosh, I have to think of something great to ask right now, right here on the spot. So if you are planning on auditioning for this school, you might want to think of a few questions you have for them or something you want to ask. Um, once again, once I was finished, somebody scrambled in and was like, oh, by the way, there's like a whole day of activities and people that you can talk to. So here, like pass this out to all the students. So compared to other schools, I would say they're a little more unorganized, but I did feel like there was that individual connection a lot more with the school. Um, I could tell that they definitely read my essay carefully before I came, like my written materials, because they were asking questions about that and referencing my essay. They were looking through my resume, asking me questions about that. So I did feel with the school, there was definitely more of a personal connection that they were interested in. So I think that's a plus. And on the day I came to audition, there was like 20 students auditioning. And then I guess uh, the girl told me at the front that they were gonna have another audition the weekend after with 20 more students. So overall, um, they had already narrowed it down to a smaller group of people for their school. And when I talked to the girl at the front, she said that they selected about like five to eight vocal performance grads for this school. So it is a smaller number than some of the other schools that have music programs that are worth auditioning for. Um, so that's kind of nice. If you get to the live audition portion, it's kind of nice that it's already been whittled down quite a bit. So you're not just a factory full of people walking in and out that they don't really care about getting to know. 
Um, not that there's anything wrong with the other way, but like I said, it just depends on what you're looking for. But the school definitely wanted to have a personal connection during the auditions.